we'd like to talk about public versus private content with the node access module. The node access module lets users with the grant node permissions, um, these people will have a grant tab on their node pages. So if they've got a page or a blog or a story that they're adding content to, they'll be able to provide view, edit, and delete access to that content based on either the role or the users. This helps you uh, make a page private or public for, et for viewing, editing, and deleting content. It can be found on the drupal.org slash project slash node access page. And you can download it there. You can then upload the tarball file to your sites, all modules folder, and you can extract it and you can enable it. And we'll, we'll uh, take a look at how to do that and show how it works. We're going to show you a scenario where we're trying to create a private page, that is a hidden page from visitors to your website. Only people who log in will be able to see this page. So the anonymous user or guest or visitor will uh, cannot view it. The authenticated user or members or community who logs in will be able to view it. Administrators will have view, edit, and delete authorization or uh, privileges or permissions. And so will the node author or the author of the private page. What we're trying to create is a community of users who, when they log in, can view content. But those people who do not log in will not be able to see it. thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the content management page and we're going to create uh, a new content type. This content type will be a private page and we'll call it private page. Give it a machine readable type of private underscore page, a little bit of a description, um, basically the workflow is, is it'll be published when we accept it, we won't have any comment settings, and it will not show up on the event calendar, so we'll take most of the standard settings for this new type. We'll then go to the user management, node access settings. These first two checkboxes we're going to uncheck because we have no other access control granting modules installed. So we don't need to give any priority. And preserving hidden grants, we don't have any modules that have hidden grants, so we're not concerned about that. We're going to have allowed grants that we can administer a view, edit, and delete. We'll have the allowed roles of authentication, authenticated user, and administrative user. We're not going to be too concerned about granting permissions to the anonymous or guest user. And then there are different types of content types or node types. Page, for example, comes with Drupal. We'll show the grant type tab for this node, and you'll see that in a minute. And there's three types of users, as you know, we have roles for, the anonymous user, the authenticated user, and the administrative user. And all three can view a page, but only the uh, administrator can edit and delete it as well as the author of the page. In contrast, 
the private page has the same roles, but the anonymous user cannot view it. So it's hidden from them. So this is how we set it up. And when we save the grants or the permissions, we're given a message that says the content access permissions need to be rebuilt. So we'll please visit this page. We'll click on the link. And it says, are you sure this could be a lengthy process? We're sure. We want to rebuild it. It's done and everything's okay. So we had built a private page. Uh, and it was submitted by T. McCune, a user. And as you can see, we have uh, the ability to view the page. It has just garbled text. We can edit the text uh, for this page and we can delete it. And because we're the administrator, we can go ahead and submit grants of permissions for this type of page. And you can see that the administrator and the authenticated user can view it, but only the administrator can edit and delete it. We can actually override this page and take away uh, delete rights or add edit rights to the authenticated user. So let's go ahead and log out. We'll then log back in as the uh, uh, R. Steinauer. And you'll see that R. Steinauer is an authenticated user, so they can see, he can see the private page. But he doesn't have the ability to edit or delete it. If we log out again, we find out that the private page is missing. So the anonymous user can't even see it. And if we log in one more time, as T. McCune, We'll get this right. We'll see that Tony McCune can see the page. He is the author. He is authenticated. But authenticated users couldn't edit or delete. But this authenticated user can because it was submitted by T. McCune. So he can edit, delete, and change the grant settings. So that's how you build a set of web pages that are private. You can let people log in and see these private pages, and the guests cannot.